Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a stamp collection and storage video for you. So here's my Raskog cart. So what I have on the top are these containers, these plastic containers from Daiso. They're very similar to the Muji ones, but way less expensive. Oops. So I have three of those. One, two, three. And they fit nicely there. And they're perfect for four by six stamp sets. So in front I have a couple of stickers just to have them easy access. Um, masking stickers, a sprinkled pug sticker, Kina Prince stickers. Uh, I've made these dividers with um, just some cardstock and my label maker and I have them by brand so I have mostly Atelier Dream stamps but in the back I have some Studio L2E, some Mommy Lay, some Sweet Stamp Shop and etc. So I think I'm gonna bring you over to my table and then we can go through the stamps, right? Let's do it! Let's wipe me, wipe me. Okay. So I've got three bins. I've got three bins. And I guess we'll go through these. So these are three of the new Atelier Dream stamp sets, which I will be doing a separate video on, an in-depth video, in-depth video on these stamp sets. And then I have them categorized in three categories. Um, planner stamps, so stamps specifically for planning. Um, so I have all of the sets of Atelier Dreams, so I don't have to go through all of them. And then I, another section is expressions for the expression sets. And then seasonal, seasonal. Um, so the Halloween sets, the winter sets, Valentine's Day, Christmas, 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 but also any gift giving holiday and Thanksgiving. So those are those. And in here I have this mini one, which I, <coughs> excuse me, you can buy individual stamps from different sellers on the Facebook page, Planner, Stamp, Shop, and Swap. I'll link that down below. And so I bought a couple of um, individual stamp sets. I can't remember. I think these are Mama Elephant and these are Mommy Lay, I think. And this is a Sweet Stamp Shop. Just um, individual stamps, which I wouldn't necessarily buy the whole set. So got those and I just... Um, this came from something I can't remember, but it's just acetate that you can just put there. And I used a uh, double-sided tape to adhere them. And then, so here I have Studio L2E stamps. So what I use are these um, plastic zipper bags from Daiso. Um, and they are eight by five and a half, so they fit four by six sets very nicely. Let's see. Here we go. So they're a little bit bigger, but I kind of like that because just in case a stamp gets loose, you can see where it went, and it just kind of makes everything uniform. I could use the Avery L ones, but they're too expensive, and they seem to split on me. And these, well, I got. 30, I get 30 for $1.50, so I use those and then I just label them with my label maker. So I have Studio L2E sets, I can go through those, I have the financial plans, happy notes, um, two small ones fit in, in one, get it girl two, and track it months, iconic, and brush dates. And I have a couple small ones which I will go through in a second. So next up I have Mommy Lay sets, which I only have two, well three, um, Merry Home, Pinoy Pride, and Pixie Alpha. 
And then Sweet Stamp Shop, I have three. Plan Woman, Plan to Clean, and Plan to Eat. And then, in my Etc, I have this Hero Arts Woodland Creature Set, Sassy Club, Sassy Life. Sometimes I put the original packaging with it because it looks nice. Um, Pink Fresh Studio Anya Alpha, which is a really cool one. Pink Paisley Hexagon Symbols, Lawn Fawn Herald's ABCs, which is a great one. And My Sentiments Exactly Alpha Dots. Yes. And I also have some stickers back here, just random things. Okay, so those are my, that's my main stamping collection, stamp collection. For my mini stamps, I have this Daiso acrylic container, and it fits um, two by three stamp sets perfectly, and it actually comes with two plastic dividers that you can slot in and then I made these little dividers. I used to, sorry, I used to store my small stamp sets in these mini disc containers from Daiso but my collection just got a little too large but these are great for travel because they'll prote protect the stamps. Here I have some packaging from the sets and then it just closes nicely and it's great for traveling, but on my desk, I just kind of leave this out, and I have some Studio L2E ones, some really mini sets, oh, mini sets, and then Atelier Dreams, which I have um, categorized them as the creatures in the front, not creatures, but the de decorative um, cuties, uh, let's see, do I have paper? So I have all of those in there, and then I have the functional ones, you know, hydrate ones, habit tracker, checklists, flags, calendars, shapes, shapes, weekend banners, and then the more miscellaneous ones. So this was $1.50 from Daiso, which is great for your mini stamps. For my inks, I keep them here. I have inks here, inks here, and some inks here. I guess I'll go through this one. This little container I also got from Daiso. I have my larger stamp blocks, larger stamp pads, um, just a bottle of alcohol just to disinfect things, and some more ink pads. I also have my alf alpha. Alpha set stamps from Michaels. These are what I think three dollars for the whole alpha, which is really cute. Yeah, I think they're they're less than three dollars or less than five dollars. So I've got these. I've got another font in there, and that's some other stamping stuff. I've got some small wooden sentiment stamps right here. Those are also from Michaels, and then. So these containers are from Marshalls? Yes, Marshalls. And they can hold anything you want. I mean, I think they're sold in the office supply section. Um, I used to use these for my makeup, but then I had an extra one, so I was like, I'm going to move it to my crafting room. So I have a large one with two drawers and a smaller one with two drawers. So here I just have some washi. And then my inks, which I color coordinated. So you can, this is the whole Versacolor, no, Versamagic Dewdrop set. This is the complete set. Um, and it can fit all of them standing up. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with them drying out when I store them this way, but I regularly rotate my inks, not physically rotating them, but rotating them where I use different colors every week. So they're fine. So. They all fit in there, and then I have on the top smaller drawer, 
I have some memento inks, which um, when I first started getting into planner stamps and crafting and all that stuff, I bought this because I thought that they would be good, but I prefer um, pigment ink and chalk ink, which chalk ink, which uh, Versamagic inks are chalk inks, and these cubes, um, the Versacolor cubes, these are pigment inks. So I have a couple of these, and I really want the full set, but there's so many colors in this line um, that I just kind of pick up a couple here and there. It really bothers me that they don't sell them in store because you have to pay for shipping and all that stuff, and that bothers me because I hate paying for shipping. But you can find them for a dollar, a dollar twenty to three dollars a piece online. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some organizing tips. And I will link to what I can down below. And I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!